So there's a local nursery who wants to help you get your garden in tip top shape. Sacra Gray is live in Rancho Cordova checking out the fall in person native plant sale going on this morning. Hey, Sacra. Yeah, good morning, guys. And since I spent my entire morning surrounded by high schoolers, I needed a little bit of peace and quiet. And where <laughs> better to do that than at a nursery? So, uh, a nursery of the different kind. If it was a nursery with a bunch of children running around here, then that wouldn't help the situation. But of course, today we're talking about plants and not just any plants, native plants that you can pick up this weekend at the Sacramento Valley California Native Plant Society sale. And I'm joined here with Chris. Good morning, Chris. Good How morning. are you? I'm doing fine. So this is an exciting time for you guys because you do about four of these types of sales a year and this is a huge turnout for you. What are people typically looking for? Uh, they are looking some, for something that is going to be good for their bee garden or their butterfly garden or to feed the birds or um, uh, to uh, screen a neighbor or, you know, you can have lots of reasons that you want plants and native plants fill all of those roles. So, yeah, so I was curious because I'm not native to Sacramento, but these plants sure are. And there's a lot of benefits to having native plants when it comes to resilience, when it comes to that weather. So usually what do you tell people is the importance of having those native plants? Well, it, they can withstand anything that nature throws at them. So during the flooding, they can take all the water you give them. Mm. Uh, it, for um, their root systems go down so far, they actually uh, help fill the aquifers. <laughs> um, uh, but they are just resilient. They won't. They don't drown, typically. They don't. Uh, during the, the massive heat events that we've had, they don't blink an eye. It's, it's just, okay, and they, even if they start to look, look like they're dying back, no, they just come back, they're fine. I love it. Hey, they're great motivation for us to persevere in life too, right? Exactly. So Dwayne, I know, is looking for a plant. Dwayne, our photographer, he's holding the camera and we want to make sure that he has a plant that can attract hummingbirds. That's what his wife wants. We'll get around this pole right here. So do you have any advice for him if he is coming in to look for something? Yeah. Um, um, do you have anything in mind? Uh, yeah, over here we've got coyote Coyote, what was that coyote what? Mint. Coyote mint. And All right. Coyote well, oh, we have one that's in flower right now. Oh, goodness. So, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Well, Dwayne, we just solved all your problems. You are taking this bad boy home with you. Great. Well, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, he gets a little gift, right? A job well done. So, if you want to pick up some native plants this weekend, head out to the Sacramento Valley uh, California Native Plant Society. Well, that is a mouthful. That's, I know why you guys say CNPS now. Uh, but just head out to their nursery. They're going to be out here from 10 to 2. So, bring your wallet, bring your car, make sure you clean out that car before you come and you can load them all up with plants and make your home just look that much better. Beautiful. Love a good plant, right? Thank you, Sacra.